YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back once again to Trading Card Thursday. The day of the week that you probably don't actually look forward to, but hey, it's a new video to watch, so why not, right? Alright guys, so for today I have something for you we've kind of done before, but I'm actually really excited for it. If you've seen the title of the video already, you know that I've got four of these build and battle boxes. I've got two from Celestial Storm, and I've got two from Ultra Prism. Um, it's weird though, because the Ultra Prism ones don't actually say build and battle on them, they say pre-release. So, uh, yeah, I guess at some point they were called pre-release boxes, and I kind of knew that, but it's weird to me though, because, like, it, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't even matter though, we've got four of them, we've got two each, thanks to that buy one get one free sell that I've talked about probably a hundred times now. Uh, but of course, guys, other than that, I've got seven packs of Sun and Moon Lost Thunder to open. Obviously because I'm trying to complete the Lost Thunder set, and I'm crazy, and I've got a hundred packs of Lost Thunder to open, and... Anyways, we're gonna open up some Lost Thunder as well! Alright guys, there's not really much else for me to say. Um, I'm just gonna open these up, see what promo cards we get in the build and battle boxes first of all, uh, and then just get straight into opening up some packs. The last time I did these build and battle boxes, unfortunately I didn't have nearly as good a luck as I had the first couple times. Uh, the first couple times, I had like full arts and secret rares out the ass, and I'm really hoping that I can get back to that with this video. Uh, maybe get a couple of at least full arts. The last time we got a box that was literally not even a single GX. That was the worst box we've opened so far. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Alright guys, let's open these up and see what we got. Get straight into the video and uh, stop listening to me talk. Alright guys, let's do it. Alright guys, so we have four of these build and battle boxes to open this time. Oops. This is what we've got. Two Ultra Prism, two Celestial Storm. Two Ultra Prism, two Celestial Storm. Uh, obviously it's the Ultra Prism that says pre-release and the Celestial Storm that says build and battle. Uh, I don't know what, what point it switched to build and battle, but um, yeah guys, let's open them up and at least see what promo cards we got. Hopefully we'll have better luck than with the Forbidden Light ones, which we got uh, two of the same promo card. Let's open them up one at a time and see what we got. Here we go. I think I'm going to do the Ultra Prism first, see what the promo cards are, and then we'll move on to the next. Alright, first up, we've got a Lucario. Alright, set the packs of cards to the side. These boxes have come in uh, handy too for me whenever I'm organizing my cards into different sets, because I can just put each set that I have uh, in one box. Typically I don't have more than one whole box of each set, so uh, it's been really convenient. Alright guys, here's the uh, the true test. Are we going to get another of the same promo, or are we going to get a different one? Oh my god, another Lucario. That is horrible. Uh, I've heard rumors that these promo cards are all the same whenever you get them from the same location, because they come out of the same, like, big box. Uh, and I, it's really kind of seeming like that's true, because it's happened two times now. Uh, there is the little poster for Ultra Prism. Alright guys, first pack of Celestial Storms, the promo card is a Manectric. Uh, that's a cool looking card, I like that. Here we go, are we gonna get another Manectric? Drum roll! Oh, we got something new guys! We got a Celesteela. Alright, cool. I'm fine with that, as long as it's not the same promo again. That sucks, because now for Forbidden Light and Ultra Prism, I have two of the same promo card. Uh, that's that's very frustrating, but that's okay. At least for Celestial Storm, we got two different ones. And in case you want to see it, there's the poster for Celestial Storm. Alright guys, just like last time, uh, I'm going to open up all these packs of Lost Thunder and have them ready to go. Uh, we're going to set these in just three separate stacks back here so they're ready to go. Um, I'm not really sure which one to open first, but uh, we definitely don't want to do Lost Thunder first this time because we have uh, less of those than the other ones. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do uh, two packs of Ultra Prism and two packs of Celestial Storm first. Uh, that way it kind of evens things out a little bit. Alright guys, here we go. First pack is going to be an Ultra Prism. Now if you remember, <laughs> or maybe not, uh, if you're new to the channel at least, 
I have had really bad luck with Ultra Prism. Like, I don't know why, but I just never pull good cards from Ultra Prism. And, I, like, I'm really not sure what it is about Ultra Prism, because I, uh, I really like Ultra Prism. There's some really cool cards you can get in Ultra Prism. Uh, like, and I even got a, an Elite Trainer Box, and I had bad luck with that, even. I don't know, it's just something about Ultra Prism that, for some reason, I cannot pull good cards. And I don't, I don't know if it's just me, or if it's just, uh, like, the pull rates for Ultra Prism are, like, notoriously worse. Uh, but no one has ever really like said anything in the comments like, hey, I also have bad luck with Ultra Prism. It just seems like I have really bad luck with Ultra Prism. So maybe we can change that today. All right, guys, here we go. We got a Manaphy first, a Grottle, Yan Mega, Krogunk, Bronzor, Gibble, Pachirisu. That is an adorable Pachirisu. Oh my god. Uh, Yanma, uh, Reverse Hollow Bronzor, and on the end we've got. Uh, Hippowden. I like Hippowden, but it's not a hollow. Let's move on, though. Uh, first pack of Celestial Storm. Celestial Storm has done me uh, pretty good. The Celestial Storm cards are the cards I did the Dollar Tree packs for, and uh, surprisingly, I got a couple of decent cards from those, weirdly enough. Uh, mostly just, uh, I think, that Prism Latios, though. There's still a Prism Latios that I do not have. That's kind of maybe the main card I would like from this set, because... There's not, like, a whole lot of other cards from this set that I, I... I mean, obviously, I would like a Rainbow Rare or something like that. But uh, there's not a lot of other cards, like, specific cards that I'm looking for, though. All right, guys, we got a Life Herb that almost looks like uh, like a, something from Zelda or something. I don't know. A Gorbis? That's one of those that I don't really remember very well. Um, it evolves from Clam Pearl, I guess. Uh, Sableye, look at that, that is such cool art, I really like that a lot, uh, I've always said that, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has better art than Pokemon, but there are moments where I see certain arts in Pokemon, and I'm just like, holy crap, this is, this is such well-drawn art, uh, Cacnea, <laughs> Mudkip, that's an adorable Mudkip, now granted, that doesn't always happen, sometimes that's not the case, but other times, I'm really impressed, Slugma, uh, Beldum, Reverse Hollow Clam Pearl. It's weird because we got the uh, the evolution of this just now, and on the end we've got uh, an Exploud. We've definitely seen that Exploud before. All right, guys. Next pack is going to be Ultra Prism again. Uh, we'll do one more of this and one more of Celestial Storm, and then we'll move on to Lost Thunder. I don't know if anyone else noticed though, but at least for all of all three of these sets, uh, we don't we don't have to do anything with the code card. We just open it up and set it to the side. It's really nice. Uh, I know I've said this a hundred times, but I really wish that every single... Ooh, there's a, a fire card. Maybe we'll get something good. But I really wish that every set used that formula. All right, guys, here we go. Will Ultra Prism pay off this time? Ooh, look at that. That is... I'm. This is what I'm talking about. This is one of those moments where I'm just like, holy crap, this is such a, like a cool-looking card. We got a Lily, Magneton, Spiritomb, Lickitung. That's a really cool-looking card. Carnival. I just, I like all of these. I, I think Ultra Prism has some really no cool looking cards. Look at Glammeow. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe. I really like these cards. Drifloon, that's not the best. Uh, Lolan Sand Shrew. Ooh, okay. Reverse Hollow Cosmoum. That's a nice card. I did not have that as far as I know. I know I've got a couple of Cosmogs, but I don't think I've seen that card just yet. All right, and on the end we've got, ooh, an Empoleon, all right. I didn't have that. It's not a hollow or anything, but that's actually a pretty cool looking card. All right, one more pack of Celestial Storm, and then we'll move on to, uh, to Lost Thunder. Here we go. For some reason, I really expect to get better cards out of Celestial Storm than Ultra Prism this time, and I, like, I hope that's not the case, because I would actually like to add a couple of good uh, GXs or above from Ultra Prism into my collection. If anything, just to say that I was able to get something good from Alter Prism. And I have gotten GXs from Alter Prism. Don't, like, I'm not saying that I haven't got any GXs or anything like that, but I just feel like uh, my pulls from Alter Prism have been very uh, lackluster. We got a Rainbow Energy, a Gorbis again, Nuzleaf, Spinarak, Larvitar, Slackoth. Ooh, I love Love Disk. Love Disk is one of my favorite Pokemon. I know that's silly, but I really like it a lot. Electrike. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Sneasel. I've seen that card before. And on the end, we've got... Ooh, Kartana. All right. Uh, once again, just a regular 
non hollow card, but it's a card that I don't think I've seen before, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, let's move on to our first pack of Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. And from here we should be able to just kind of uh, do one set at a time, move our way between the three. Uh, I think it's pretty much even itself out at this point. I mean, at least for the most part. We're probably going to come up short for Lost Thunder at the very end. Yeah, there's Mixed Herbs, Flaffy, Electabuzz, Larvitar, Tangela, Ninkata, Chinchow, Mareep, uh, Reverse Hollow Umbreon. I uh, don't think I had that. On the end we have... Uh, oh my god! Finally! Finally I got the Houndoom! God, okay, cool. So that literally uh, just means that that Entei theme deck that I was talking about is just null and void now. Like, uh, all the cards I was planning on getting from it, I now have in my collection. I don't understand why it took me so long to get this Houndoom. But I got the Entei last time, and now I've got the Houndoom. It's not a hollow, which is whatever, I don't really care. Uh, but at least it'll be added into the binder, finally. Like, this is one of the few uh, non-GX cards that I'm still missing from Lost Thunder. Uh, this is the third Celestial Storm pack we've opened, though. So we haven't got a real hit from anything yet. Let's see uh, see if maybe these build and battle boxes will give us anything good. I'm really expecting... I mean, well, I guess I'm really hoping. I shouldn't say expecting, because every time I say that I'm expecting something, it doesn't happen. So I guess I should say I'm really hoping that uh, those Forbidden Light build and battle boxes I did were just like a fluke, and that... I'll, uh, I'll disprove, or re, I guess I should say reprove or reassert that these build and battle boxes are the best way to get good cards. Alright, we got a Pupitar, Kecleon, TV Reporter, Mudkip, ooh, it's a very cool looking Mudkip card, uh, Ball Toy, Bagon, he looks so serious, he's like staring off into the distance and being very mysterious, oh, Look at that Torchic, that is so cool. It very it looks very commu computer drawn. I don't know. It's very nice looking. Uh, Love Disc again. Ooh, Revol Reverse Hollow Metatite. It's got a little bundle bee in the background. And on the end we've got a Deoxys. We've got that card somewhere. I've seen it before. Not a big deal. I don't even know what GXs are available in Ultra Prism to be honest, but uh, I'll take any of them at this point. Any of them that I don't have, because there are a couple of GXs. Won't that just be my luck? Like, the one good card I get from these uh, Ultra Prism cards are going to be the like a card that I've got before. I guarantee that's what's going to happen, probably. Alright, we've got a Rotom. An Unidentified Fossil. And then why is it here? Uh, Electric Memory. Stunky. Electabuzz. Boniri. Morlul. Magmar. He's a very serious looking Magmar, too. Uh, ooh, there's a reverse hollow of the Coast Cosmoem. Did we just get that, or was that a hollow? I kind of don't remember. Uh, it might have just been non-hollow. I don't remember, but we just saw it. Uh, and on the end, we've got... Ooh, a Drampa. Okay, cool. All right, guys, moving on to another Lost Thunder pack. At least we've added in a card to the Lost Thunder set already. Like, I always feel like a video was successful if I add a new Lost Thunder card into my set. And so far, most of my videos, I've added at least one or two. Uh, at least since I started collecting the Lost Thunder like this, at least. Uh, <laughs> I might say at least a couple more times. At least one more time. Sorry. Uh, we got a Shuckle. We still need the Shuckle GX, by the way. At some point, I plan on doing a, uh, like, a list of... I'll do it in the next Quest to Complete Lost Thunder video. A list of all the Lost Thunder cards that I'm missing still. Spell Tag, Memory Energy, Hop It. Uh, I counted it recently, it was like 40 cards, some 40 something cards. Another Hop It, Picky Peck, Durant, Reverse Hollow Mantine. Oh, and I should say that that's including the Secret Rares too. Not including Secret Rares uh, or Full Arts, I'm only missing like 10 cards maybe. Alright guys, on the end we have... Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious, guys? I got another Rainbow Rare. This is a Lost Thunder Rainbow Rare, guys. Oh my god. That is so cool. If I'm going to get a Rainbow Rare, it has to be Lost Thunder. That is awesome. Ah, oh, that is so nice. I get to add another one of these into the collection. 
All right, guys, that is awesome. I, that feels really good. I like. Oh, uh, that's I believe the third one that I've pulled on the channel. All right, guys, we finally got a rainbow rare. I'm feeling good now. <laughs> oh my god. I, I mean, I swear, every time that I pull a rainbow rare, it just feels like it's not really happening. Like, oh, but it makes it so much like so much more enjoyable. And just you know, whenever you sit down to open up some cards, you really hope you're gonna get something like that, but. 90% of the time, you don't. So whenever it actually happens and you, you pull a rainbow rare, let alone a rainbow rare I didn't have, like, that's awesome. Remember I was saying that I uh, I was really expecting to have to buy most of the secret rares and full arts from Lost Thunder uh, on, like, on eBay or something to complete the set? So every time I pull a rainbow rare or a full art that I don't have from Lost Thunder, it's a win because that is a, a, a card that I didn't have to add into the binder. All right, guys. We got a Sky Pillar, Torkoal, Lurball, Love Disc once again, Spinarak, Torchic, uh, Slackhoth, uh, Reverse or <laughs> Shup it. I saw this Reverse Hollow in the background. A uh, Reverse Hollow Mudkip and a uh, Kyogre. All right, we've got that card, but you know, at least it's a Hollow, right? Ooh, guys. I just realized we've now opened four packs of uh, Celestial Storm. Didn't get a single GX card, which means that. Uh, these build and battle boxes are not nearly as good as I was expecting them, or as I was hoping that they would be. I don't know, I guess I just had really good luck with the Lost Thunder build and battle boxes. I don't know why, but that's awesome. Alright, there we go for you all. God, another secret rare. That's awesome. I, I, I know I've said it like a hundred times in this video, but it just feels so good whenever you pull a secret rare it just makes all it like it validates all of my life choices right <laughs> all right well we got quite the looker yon mega per ugly that's a very ugly cat uh young goose cherubi oh that's adorable uh piplup snover murkrow reverse hollow yanma and on the end a fan Rotom, guys. That is a second build and battle box without a GX card. All right, well let's move on to another Lost Thunder pack. See what we got. I mean, I don't think we can top the uh, the rainbow card we got, but uh, who knows? Let's uh, let's find out. There's a code for you guys. Maybe we can get a full art too. That would be nice to to round the video out, right? I'm just never satisfied. Like, <laughs> I pull a rainbow card and I'm like, maybe we can get a full art too. I don't know. I just, uh, I'm never happy. I always want more. Hit on top. Magirna. Uh, Fairy Charm. Skidoo. Onyx. Ralts. Oh, let's let it focus. Sorry. Cyndaquil. Uh, Pineco. Reverse Hollow Stantler. These reverse hollows are really the, uh, the bulk of what I enjoy from getting from Lost Thunder now. And on the end is a Shedinja. We've got that. All right, so now we're moving on to the next build and battle box for Celestial Storm. Let's see what we can get. Open this thing up. We should probably hurry up. I'm sure that this video is going on way longer than it needs to. Uh, God, why do I have such trouble opening these packs sometimes? I swear, it's like I, uh, I don't, like I don't know how to rip plastic or something. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Try and go through these a little faster. All right, we got, ooh, I just saw something back there. All right, we got a hiker. I think it's just like a GX though, but let's get through it. Energy switch, rainbow brush. Why am I suddenly seeing cards I've never seen before? Uh, Chin Chow, look at that, that is so cool. It's like hand drawn. Uh, Onyx, Bagon, Bellsprout, that's cool looking. Ooh, God, yes! Oh my God, yes! Oh, okay, cool, so I have literally like five of the Prism Latias. So to get this Prism Latios is so perfect, especially after I just said that I would like was hoping to get it. All right, guys, and on the end we've got um, okay. So I guess uh, the Latios is what I saw. All right, guys, let's move on to Ultra Prism. Um, still nothing good from Ultra Prism. We haven't got a single GX card. Is it just me, or have I strangely stopped pulling GX cards on this channel? I swear, I get more ultra rares and hyper rares and secret rares, whatever, than like just regular GX cards. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I used to pull GX cards a lot more, 
And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I would take a secret rare over a like full art any day of the week. But you know, I've just I, I would really like to get a couple of full arts too, because you know, there it's it's part of the collection. Alright, there's that ugly cat again, unit energy, Rotom, Snover, Murkrow, Gibble, Dupe Hider, Stunky, a reverse hollow execute. That's a really neat looking card too. I don't think we've uh, ever really... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I was going to say that that's like uh, uh, one of the eggs out of his shell, but I don't think so. I think he's just in the shadow. All right. On the end, we've got... Yes! Yes! Oh, my God. I love getting the evolutions. That is so cool. Okay, I take back everything I've said about Ultra Prism. I am happy. I'm 100% satisfied. We have a full art... Leafeon GX. Not just a Leafeon GX, but a full art Leafeon GX. I could not be happier. That is for sure the best card I've got from Ultra Prism. Alright, I'm kind of losing track of which ones I've done, but I'm pretty sure I just did an Ultra Prism, yeah, because I got that Leafeon. Uh, I actually, I guess I have got the, uh, the Rainbow Leafeon from Ultra Prism, but it's because I bought it on eBay. It's like, I didn't pull it, so... Uh, I kind of forgot that that was from Ultra Prism until I got that, because it's the same card, just uh, the Rainbow Rare version. So I, I definitely recognize that Leafeon, but that's awesome. It's even more cool, though, because now I've got both the Full Art version and the Rainbow version. There's a Fire Energy. Maybe we'll get something good from Lost Thunder again. All right, guys. Let's get through these kind of quick. Uh, let's let that focus for a second. We've all seen these Lost Thunder cards, so... There's no real reason for me to uh, to go through them one by one like I do with the other packs. Uh, oh, we have that. I've, I remember seeing that Reverse Hollow Aether Foundation. All right, on the end, an Espeon. All right, I mean, it's an Evolution. don't get me wrong, but it's not a Hollow. All right, back to Celestial Storm. I've really got quite the stack of commons and uncommons going here. I've got to figure out something to do with my, my bulk common, common and uncommons. Like the doubles, at least, because uh, as I put in, put as I'm putting all of these cards into uh, binders, it's just uh, it's becoming harder and harder for me to uh, to store all the doubles because I don't put them into the binders. I put two of each card into the binder, and then everything else just gets stored away somewhere. And uh, I'm I'm struggling to figure out what to do with all those extra cards. So. Uh, comment below and let me know what you do. Uh, I mean, ultimately, I'm probably going to try and sell them. Oh, it's a cool looking Donphin. I feel like I've seen these cards before, like they're reprints or something. Uh, Mudkip, Beldum, Whalmer. God, look how big he is. He's like an entire river. Is that a Pokemon Center in the corner, I think? Uh, Spinarak, Larvitar. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Marsh Stomp. I like that. All right, and on the end, we've got. A Waylord. All right, I guess that Whalmer was a, a, a sign of things to come. We're going to open an Ultra Prism now. We're getting down to the end. Uh, God, I didn't even realize how many packs of cards I was opening, though. I think I'm going to have to uh, I'm gonna have to try and make this video a little shorter. Or either that or we're going to have to get through these a little faster. Uh, I'm going to have to stop opening so many packs in each of these parts. It's just, I can't help it. Like, I've got so many cards to open that whenever I open cards, I just want to open as many as possible. But it, it makes my videos a little longer than I'd like for them to be. I know that a lot of people... Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty cool looking Alolan Doug Trio. Uh, but I know a lot of people prefer the shorter videos, so uh, I apologize for that. Uh, Printlup, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Vulpix, uh, Bronzor, Dewpider, a Piplup. Uh, okay, uh, Prism Star, Cyrus, and on the end we've got a Toxicroak. All right. Uh, I don't know if I had that Cyrus or not, but, uh, you know, it's cool. It's a Prism card. I'll take it. All right, guys. Lost Thunder's up next. Let's just blaze through this Lost Thunder pack. See what we got at the end here, because, uh, once again, we've seen all these Lost Thunder cards about a hundred times. And I'm honestly kind of tired of seeing them at this point. Like, I'm, I'm almost tempted to just take the two rare cards off the end and look at them. Uh, but instead, we will kind of glance through this pack real quick. Because uh, I don't want to ruin the fun of opening the cards either. But, uh, for me, or you, that is. But we all know what we're trying to find here. Well, I guess I know what I'm... Oof, I hate that. I hate when that happens. Alright, reverse hollow your mask, and on the end... A Naganadal. Hey, I, you know, I've got that card, but I think I've only got one of it. And if anything, I, I don't even know if I have the hollow of it, so that's pretty cool. I'll take it. 
All right, guys, we got six packs of cards left. We're going to blaze through them a little faster. Uh, but we will try and stop and appreciate the Celestial Storm and Ultra Prism cards at least because that's kind of the uh, what this episode is about. Uh, Lost Thunder is really just there because I'm obsessed with Lost Thunder and I have a problem. Uh, but ooh, Fire Energy. Maybe that'll be something good. We've gotten at least one good thing out of Ultra Prism, um, but we haven't really gotten anything good out of Celestial Storm yet. So hopefully this will be the one to, to give us something good. All right, we got a hustle belt. We got a hustle. That's what we got to do in this video. Oracoria. Oh, oh, guys, I see that. That's probably just a GX or maybe a Prism. I, I've learned not to get excited. Let's uh, let's not get too excited. Oracorio, Tropius, Voltorb, Sneasel, C dot, uh, Gulpin, C dot again. Wait, is that? That's two different C dots in one pack. All right. Uh, reverse Hollow Rainbow Energy, and on the end, guys, what is it? It's. Oh my god, yes! The Mr. Mime GX! That is so cool! I love Mr. Mime! That is such a cool card! You know what? We're probably not going to get anything good out of Ultra Prism or Celestial Storm now, because I think we've got the like the one good pull from these two uh, building battle boxes now. But at least we got something from the two building bo battle boxes. The last two, that is. Uh, those first two, we literally didn't get anything from, and I can't believe that. Like, I really, really thought that you had better luck with these things than you did with regular packs. And uh, I'm a little disappointed to find out that that's not the case. Uh, Electric Memory, <laughs> quite the looker. Gibble, Pachoriso, Yanma, Murkrow, oh, Eevee, uh, Scoruppy, and Heatran. Oh, wow, that's a Heatran I don't have either. All right, another Lost Thunder pack. Let's see what we can do here. Now, Lost Thunder, I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty much a wild card for Lost Thunder here because uh, these were not in like a specific box or anything, so there's not really like any guaranteed pulls necessarily, or like um, I don't know, like certain like well, for example, we probably won't get another secret rare, but we could get like a full art or a GX. Uh, there's still that Mimikyu GX that I really want from this set. Uh, Cascoon, Lost Blender, Custom Catcher, and Poplio. Morlol, Chansey, Trico, Picky Peck. Oh, there's a Lusamine again. That probably means we won't get anything else, but let's see on the end. Uh, two Cannon, yeah. Usually when you get a Prism card, you don't get anything else. All right, guys, three packs of cards left. Let's open up our last Celestial Storm. I don't know. For some reason, I just have this feeling we're not going to get anything good from these last three packs. But who knows? Uh, like I said, the Lost Thunder is, is really kind of the wild card. It, it might be the pack that we get something good out of. But I think we've already got the pulls from uh, Ultra Prism and Celestial Storm. Uh, although that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because like I said in a previous video, I have seen stuff online where people have gotten multiple pulls from a build and battle box. So who knows, right? Alright, Oricorio, Tropius, Hiker, Slackoth, Love Disc, Electrike, C dot, Wingull, Reverse Hollow Shellgun, and on the end we've got a Ki another Kyogre. Really? All right, last Ultra Prism pack. Let's see what we got. So far, my predictions have been true, but I mean, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm not like an expert. I don't really know. Like, they could. They really could put two, uh, two of a good card in these boxes. And I would be really happy if they did. Maybe this fire energy will give us luck. Let's find out. All right, guys, here we go. We have Cynthia, Grottle, uh, a <laughs> skateboard. It's just a skateboard with rockets on it. Murkrow, Magnemite. It's like a Magnemite at a, at a rave or something. <laughs> a Snover, a Glammeow. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, Drifloon, Reverse Hollow Passimian. It's like almost hard to tell what's going on in that card. All right, guys, on the end, we have just a Drapion. I, I figured we wouldn't get anything else. All right, guys, last pack of cards. I'm really hoping that this turns out to be something good. Uh, whoa, this pack was literally already open. That's a little worrisome. I don't know what that means. It probably just means that it got uh, it got ripped whenever I was opening the, uh, the little the cardboard box that it came in. Because, I mean, like, you know, it was in a cardboard box. It's it's not going to be opened from uh, someone in the store, I would imagine. I don't know. That would take a lot of skill to be able to open a pack while it's in that cardboard thing. But uh, maybe there's someone out there who can do that. I don't know. 
All right, guys, we've seen a lot of this Shuckle. I wish we would just get the Shuckle GX already because we have the full art version of it, too. All right, let's get through this Lost Thunder pack. I'm ready to see if we got anything else good. Cub Chew, Fan P. Okay, oh, wow, look, that's so cool. We got the, oh, all right, that, that's uh, completely appropriate. We got the Reverse Hollow of the Houndoom. I mean, uh, I always say it, but I would rather have the Hollow than the Reverse Hollow, but hey. Don't care because I originally only had the non-holo, so I will take the holo. It's weird that we got two of the Houndoom this time. Like, it's, I know it's not even that rare of a card, but it's weird that I hadn't pulled it up until now. Alright, on the end we've got... Ugh, a ho -ho. Not even a holo. Whatever. These Prism cards are nothing too exciting, but I am really excited about this Latios just because I had so many of the Latias Prism. Uh, we got a Hollow Naganadal, the two Houndooms, which I'm uh, unnecessarily excited about. We got this awesome Mr. Mime GX, as well as a Prism Lusamine. But we all know which two cards are the most exciting here. We got a Full Art Leafeon GX and a, a Rainbow Verizian GX. Now, this is the third Rainbow card I pulled on the channel, because uh, originally my goal on this channel was to pull Rainbow cards. Uh, but I feel like now I've just got uh, I've got bigger goals, but I am still ecstatic nonetheless to get that Rainbow Verizian. At least we're not getting double rainbows yet, right? Because uh, the day that that happens will be the day I'm disappointed to get a rainbow. Alright guys, that's what we got. Comment below and let me know which of these are your favorite. If you know anyone that likes Pokemon, make sure you share this with a friend too. Uh, but yeah guys, that'll be it for this time. Alright guys, that's it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future though, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll get notifications every time I upload one of these gems. Alright guys, make sure to click one of these videos on the screen if you don't mind. Even if you're not going to watch it, it helps the channel and I truly appreciate it. However, if you do want to subscribe to the channel, I'll make it easy for you and click this button right here. Alright guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching and everyone have a great life. See you next week guys!